Hi, I am happy uh, to report that now is my two and a half year anniversary after my neograft procedure. And I can say in full honesty, full disclosure, that this was probably the best um, medical procedure that I've ever had. Um, every time I get out of the shower, I see the difference and feel the difference and really, really appreciate having a nice looking, totally natural looking head of hair. And if it weren't for the neograft procedure I had here at Cool Spa, that would not be the case. As I think you may know, uh, the man who did my procedure, Tony Bernal, is the man with whom I have an exclusive relationship with in New York, and he does the neograft procedures on our patients. Um, what is neograft? Neograft is, in my view, the leading technology for follicular unit extraction and follicular unit implantation of hair follicles um, that exists. Uh, the biologic basis of how neograft works is the following. When you see a bald man, what you see typically is varying combinations of hair loss in this area. You generally don't see hair loss in this horseshoe area around it. And the reason that that's the case, and again, it's different patterns depending on your genetics in terms of whether it's the bald spot first or the temporal recession going up or thinning from the front towards the back, there are a lot of combinations about how this hair loss occurs, but it always ends up, or, or if, if, if we live long enough, it would always end up in the same kind of horseshoe pattern. And the reason for that is very simple. Basically, our hair follicles have receptors in them, and the people that have male pattern balding inheritance, because this is all genetic, are people that have receptors in these follicles that make them sensitive to metabolites of testosterone. So that over time, as you're exposed to these testosterone metabolites, hairs become what we call terminal, they get thinner and thinner, and finally they just fall out and you don't have any hair at all. The hair follicles in the back of the head don't have those receptors, so they are not vulnerable to the hair loss that occurs with male pattern baldness. And that's why when you take that follicle, or what we call a follicular unit, from the back of the head and move it to the balding area in the front of the head, the cells don't change. They're the same cells. They think that they've never gone anywhere. And so therefore, they're not going to be vulnerable to that hair loss. And that's why, over time, I may be losing more of the native hairs that were here, but I'm not really losing the hairs that were transplanted. And um, if you were to come by and visit and look very closely under magnification with bright light at my hair, you won't be able to know where they came from. You also won't see scars either in the donor area or in the recipient area. So that's all pretty cool. The most common method of hair restoration still in the United States is the strip method. Now the strip method involves taking an ellipse of scalp, cutting that out, everything I just drew, gets cut out literally, put on the table, and now the technicians go and cut that ellipse of scalp into follicular units. So that patient can still have follicular unit implantation, but they're not getting follicular unit extraction. Instead, they're getting this big strip scar. The problems are twofold. Uh, first of all, short term, you're closing under tension because you're removing as much scalp as, as you safely can, so that wound is being closed under tension. That means there can be pain, there can be wound complications, there are stitches that need to be removed, um, there can be infections, and that scar is going to guaranteed be a permanent scar for the rest of your life. And because it's closed under tension, in some cases that scar can become a wide scar. And what that means is that henceforth, you can't get a really short haircut or there'll be a step off noted and it's certainly a problem if you ever want to shave your head because now there's a big scar in the back of your head and people are wondering if you had a brain tumor or you know or hair, or hair transplant surgery. Uh, what happened with me I could shave my head if one day I just decide to shave my head and no one will know anything. Um, so that's also very very cool and that's why follicular unit extraction meaning taking these follicular units out with a little micro punch 
so that at the end of the procedure, there are little red dots in the back of my head is a much better way to go, in my opinion, than the strip method. So uh, hopefully that sheds some light on things and um, hope to see you here.